Hello? It's just about midnight. Sitting on the porch swing. It's be pretty dark here, but uh, I hung a flashlight above me, kind of aiming down. Uh, I think that may be what's that clicking noise on the chain. Well, that's okay. Maybe it's a nice rhythmic sound to you all. I don't know. It's a pretty cool evening. Sitting here between the maple and the Norway maple, facing the snow goose cherry. Kind of aware of the dark. Of course, the dark we think of as a you know a very visual thing, and that really is what tends to be important about dark to us. And it's not light, it's less seen. But have you breathed in the dark? Have you smelled the dark? And listened to the dark? And so I'm going to just do a little meditation. Trying to tune into something that is uh, very much related to one of the senses, in this case the dark, which means the eyes. Well, let's see if I can tune into it with the other senses. You know, listening is fine, but maybe some others. You know, a giraffe is not only tall. You know, a giraffe is wide. And a giraffe is itchy. And a giraffe is curious. And a giraffe has horns. You know, a cheetah is not only a spotted beast. <clears throat> hey, Saki. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, you coming over to join us? I think I just said the word beast, and then a certain beast that we know showed up. There he is, in the dark. Hey, buddy. Come here. See how he does on the swing with us. If we swing a little bit less rapidly. How you doing, buddy? Hey, how are you? You doing pretty good? Yeah? He's somebody that doesn't just look at the dark. He's definitely sensing the dark. How you doing, buddy? Yeah. I'm just moving that around a little. He's up on my lap here. There he is. And so, even though what makes the dark the dark, and the important thing about a story about darkness is the not seeing. You know, it's a story of the vision. It's a story of light. And if you were to pick up a children's story about a giraffe, you can bet there's going to be a primary feature of the long neck. But 
everything else applies to draft. Perhaps less markedly so, but it does. And so the dark does have a taste. Thank you, Saki. And the dark does have a smell. It may not be a particular smell, but there are smells in the dark. And so I am trying in this midnight meditation to access something known by something known by one sense with at least one other maybe all of the others maybe some of the others dark here. Change that light. So, there we have it, sense what is known by one sense with another sense or other senses or all of the other senses. Thank you. <laughs>